Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to get the plastic up and get some stuff done inside the green room. Yeah, once I get the plastic up on the opening here, I think I'll, yeah, I'll have, well, I have to close this off, but I really should close this off as well. Maybe I'll slide this, slide this in there temporarily, close this off as well, so I got a smaller spot to heat. Then I'll throw a space heater out here, and then come back maybe two hours later and get these onto the back of here. And go get that. I went out and got some inch and a quarter machine screws. I tried I tried one inch on the first attempt and they were just a hair shy. Yeah, see there they are. So I'm gonna go with the inch and a quarter and that should do it. Got my washers here, these come with the nuts. So hopefully I can get that on today, but I definitely have to get this plastic up because the next 10 day forecast, it's going to be just very cold um, in the single digits and, you know, up to 11 below at night. So in here, if it's 11 below at night, it will stay 11 below most of the day in here. Uh, unless I heat it, it doesn't warm up very much in here. So, got to get this done today. 9 feet by 12 feet, that's exactly what I need. so cold in here, my hands don't want to work.
Okay, I got this well mostly done. This is the end of the roll and it's kind of wrinkly, but that's fine. Once I get some heat in here, I'm going to throw a couple pieces of tape on here. I want this overlap, so it's going to stay that way, but I'll throw a couple pieces of tape on here. I just, I don't want heat going up the stairs because I'm not going to be going up and down the stairs quite yet. This is the cutoff that came from this door opening. And for this room, I'm just going to put a slit down the middle and then put that centered right over it. So you have to kind of wiggle in that way. I'm not going to be going in here much at all until this is completely done. Once this is completely done, then I have to get um, I'll, I'll have a bunch of stuff that has to go upstairs and that includes that stuff right there and that stuff right there. Then I'll get all that stuff that has to go upstairs staged right here and then go up through here. That should be in five days. The forecast right now has five days of overcast and very, very cold, which I'm going to have the heater in here and work in here then it has five days of sun still pretty damn cold but with the heat with the sun that upstairs area right next to the tin that's south so upstairs right there gets pretty damn nice and warm if it's over like 10 15 degrees it's pretty tolerable up there so on those days i'll run stuff up the stairs and get it organized up there but on these cold days i'll work down here with the heater and at any time i can just open this completely up and and heat this as well because this is mostly insulated in there this is fully insulated except for where the plastic is going so I got one more roll of plastic. Well, I got a lot of plastic, but one more roll to go. So what I got to do is start here and then staple it along the edge, kind of bend it and staple it and then to the drywall, let it flap onto the floor like that. And then I got to come to wherever I'm going to put the opening, which will probably be right about here and then just cut it straight down then start from that end and work my way over so when i get to here it should overlap by probably a foot i think this is uh 11 feet across here right around there and that's 13. this is 24 feet from from tin to tin i believe or possibly from the back of the post to the back of the post but this is a little bit this wall's a little bit wider okay let's get this last last one on i have to stop every once in a while because my using the stapler with your hands on metal like that when it's this cold like I, like i said earlier it's probably about zero in here it's just incredibly cold um with your hands on metal like that um, it sucks all the heat out of your hand and after probably you know four or five minutes it gets to where your hand doesn't want to work anymore so got to stop and warm it up so once once I get this stuff up it'll be nice and toasty in here so let's get going <laughs>
Okay, got this done. Looks pretty nice. This is about how it was last year, and it worked just fine. Not a whole lot of overlap here, but uh, once you got the heater going in here, that'll relax this plastic a little bit, and like it is right now, that's plenty. So it's pretty well sealed right now. All I got to do is go get a heater, throw it in here. Alrighty then, I got the heater going, got her all sealed up. What I'm going to do now is let her warm up a bit, go back to the house, warm up myself, and get some work done on my day job, and then I'm going to come back, put that metal pegboard on here, roll that back where it was, right here, and then I am going to tackle this stuff for once and for all, get it all up on shelves. I got my daughter sorted through most of the the buckets of hardware and got them into bins roughly but i'll get it the rest of the way whatever it needs and then i got to get those two get those two outlets put in right away as well then this this area will be done and i can move on and i can put stuff in here uh, roll stuff in here like some of the tools and I won't really need to get at anything for the most part. I'll make another video later today that shows the rest of this stuff once it's nice and warm in here. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe, click on the update icon so you receive notifications, and until then, have yourself a great day.